and bought a hotel and bought the lease and I publicly announced that my family has acquired the two hotels because there was nothing to hide I saw no need to advise my children like other people do to buy the properties through proxy because this was street business they went and borrowed 600 million from the bank and they were given one year moratorium which is not over to do the renovations and all that and open the facility but I want to thank my son Dr. Keith Rigadi he worked very hard that I think last month or so I was at the tree tops with the British High Commissioner to open the tree tops the tree tops is so important to the people of Nyeri and the Abadea ecosystem it is in the tree tops hotel that Princess Elizabeth slept as a princess and woke up as a queen and when that facility was shut down it was very devastating to the people of Nyeri and the Abadia ecosystem so when the people of Nyeri heard that the son of the deputy president is interested in leasing that facility from KWS and reopen it there was joy and ulation in the Abadias since this hotel opened 45 Kenyans are back to work the mama and boga we talked about during our campaign are supplying vegetables to that hotel the local butchers are supplying me to that hotel the traditional Moboko dancers come every weekend to entertain the tourists and get some payment the tourism circuit of the Abadea is back because of these two young men who are now being demonized as crooks as criminals who should not invest in their own motherland because they are the sons of the deputy president the deputy president of the republic of kenya spends a lot of time in one of his functions that he has been given by the president to coordinate development partners and look for investors why should the deputy president go to look for foreign investors when his own children can invest at home children of many other people i know hide their money in dubai and cayman islands they don't want to invest here what crime have the children of the deputy president of the republic of kenya committed by borrowing money from a bank to buy a hotel and spur tourism create employment and spur business within the local environment these boys are so demoralized asking me dad why didn't you advise us that it's a crime to be your children that we have no life of our own that we shouldn't invest in our own country and if we dare to invest we should do it at our proxy so that we conceal our identity are we criminals by virtue of being your children that's a question my children are asking me <clears throat> what crime can children of kenya commit to borrow money from a bank and start an enterprise and employ people and spur tourism how unfair can a country be to its young population to condemn them for being enterprising i'm being told by the national assembly that i need to be impeached from office because my children have dared to borrow money buy property in their name and invest in their own country and for that their father should be sent home I want to conclude by Karadi Farm Limited. This is a farm I founded in 2001 with my wife, Pastor Dockers. 
and it runs our farms, it runs our dairy farm in Nyeri that is do, 